hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are good guys today we're going to be reacting to charlie kick candice owens and racism this is like something that i have been wanting to react to honestly because like um the rate of racism in the world right now you know it's a lot and a lot of people you know are going through a lot just because of racism it's not a good thing so please and racism let's get right into this video without wasting any more time go ahead all right so i'll start off with my credentials since apparently they matter oh they definitely don't matter i'm an eight-year military veteran i'm a college student Thank i'm you. a black woman and i believe that white privilege exists so we're going to start with that Thank you for your service. Thank and you the for your reason service. why white privilege exists is because you guys refuse to acknowledge the history that put people in this position. You want to tell me that white privilege doesn't exist when white people had a fucking upper hand for 250 years to develop generational wealth and that black people didn't get the right to fucking vote until the 60s and you're going to tell me that white privilege doesn't exist? So, that sounds like so it exists all, because you guys black, got the yeah, upper hand. Yeah, what, what's funny yeah. about that is blacks are, are do, were doing better during Why that time. Why do we under, always call people under, blacks? No, because, well, no, because you because you black. Can we just be black people? Can we just be like African Americans or something? Why are we just The black blacks? community? How would you like it said? How, what makes you feel better on the inside? Really, anything else other than what you're saying? What, what, tell me, I'll, I'll say how you want anything it. Anything else I'll other how you need it. Tell me how, what makes you feel better. Literally like. anything else other than what you're saying. Okay, anything else. Why is that anything else, right? During In the Jim Crow era, blacks were doing better. Economically, we're outpacing whites under the Jim Crow era. Then we, uh, we let's then we see. Are it probably done. has then to do with the fact that we had our own communities before the fucking KKK the came and burned the them KKK down. The KKK were Democrats, but give me a second. So after 22 trillion dollars of government handouts and a black president for after for, how many years of slavery years, the black and 44 white presidents, we were in the Jim 44 Crow white era. male presidents, oh, 97 percent white male Congress. So you're actually the reason why people like us can't do well because they sold you your, our oppression and you bought it. Blacks were doing better Barrett. under the Jim Crow era. If you acknowledge the oppression of other people, we can heal from it. No, we but can't. But if you want no, to we ignore can't. it, we, we won't can't. have anything happen. That's not how. That's not how this works. Dialogue and acknowledging things doesn't make us suddenly rich. So there's a it's a real I, there's a question I do want to ask, which I can't seem to get an answer. What can she not do in America that a white person can do? What opportunity? You served in the military. You've made good choices. You're getting rewarded for them. You're going to live in the American middle class. What privilege do I have that you don't have that is based on skin color, not on wealth or socioeconomic status? Please. The fact that you are sitting here with like little to no education trying to talk to people about white privilege is white privilege. Oh my God. Tell me one thing I said that's wrong and don't use an argument from authority. Make a good argument. I have a degree. I'm arguing from authority because I'm telling you my life experience. That's not your life experience. That's a difference. Really, I'm sorry. Did you live my life? That means nothing. Did you live my life? That means that's a degree. You're not smarter than me because you have a degree. Just so you know that. That's a fallacy. That I can do. That's a fallacy. Name one thing that you can't do that I can do? Um, I don't know. I can't make a whole dollar. What? You can't? Why? Oh my god. You're, you're trying to tell me in the military women aren't paid the same as men for equal work? Um, in the military, up until two years ago, women weren't even allowed to do most of the jobs that Answer the question. Do. You just said you couldn't make a dollar. You said you could not make a dollar. You served in the military. Which not is to mention that people in the military Sorry. actually get paid a bullshit wage but we're not going to talk about so that now we're moving yeah let's talk that. about no, 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 no. let's talk about for a second color. that you, you want to say that what? everyone what? in the military what can i not do a shitty wage so that makes it right lie and they also sell there's so many different ways they sell your oppression and she has purchased all of them today so right now we are on sexism right so she's saying that i can't make a full dollar yes you can if women stop so, so going in i bet he got paid more to be here than you did speaking okay if women stop going into career fields like fashion and vogue and journalism, and, psychology. and we start going into fields like engineering, the, like engineering Business. and hard academics, Finance. we will make the exact same money that if men. Make. The the, the uh, wage gap is a myth and a, a myth. lie. It's a myth and a lie. Okay. It's, it's actually a myth and a lie. I understand that you need to be oppressed, but you are you have just heard from two black people that haven't purchased their oppression from the Democrat Party. Respect that. And, and, and what what frustrates me is you served our country which deserves to be applauded. And you have lived a life of a victor, 
and you have the gumption to tell me you're a victim without evidence. You were not able to cite one thing that you cannot do that I can do. If you make good choices, you will get those choices rewarded. And you brought zero evidence except an argument from an authority and an insult to my lack of a college degree of which I am so proud of because I'm not indoctrinated because I didn't go to college. So guys, um, this was a chaotic one, but let's get right to it. So guys, first of all, I'm going to say the girl was rude. I mean, you wouldn't come up to ask a question if you don't know how to talk politely. Pardon me, but I don't like rude people. And I'm going to start off there saying she was really rude. I mean, there's a way you can present your question and also, you know, attack the, you know, the speaker, but not in a rude manner. So that is that. And then um, I'm someone who sides with facts. If you cannot provide facts to defend whatever you're saying, then you're not saying anything. Don't get me wrong. I mean, she couldn't, like, okay, what is it that Charlie can do that she's not allowed to do based on her skin color? And what did she say? She couldn't make a dollar. She's serving in the military. She's getting paid. You can tell me they're they are paying the males more than the females over at the military. Well, her stage of work, they're paying her. So why is she saying she can't even make a dollar? That, that, that's that bullshit. It's not, it doesn't have anything to do with racism. It doesn't have anything to do with her skin color. And um, she's complaining about black. I mean, right here in Africa, some of us get called by our, our color. Like, let's get this straight. They're saying um, the blacks. Do you find that offensive? Please, anybody who's watching me right now, um, you know, you're a black American or, you know, you're dark skin and all. If you get offended when, you know, um, people are speaking or when Candice, Charlie, they're speaking and they're like the black society. If you get offended, please let me know in the comment section. Let me see this because I, I personally don't get offended. I mean, it's my skin color and I am proud of it. I don't, I don't see a problem when someone is trying to refer to maybe a society. And because right now, if you're trying to refer to like, um, you hear people saying, okay, white privileges, the, the, the white Americans, the white, um, society, like it's just the same. So I, I don't really, I don't really get it. And, um, what else is that to say? Um, the fact that she attacked Charlie by saying, um, he's speaking and he doesn't even have like a college degree. That is so, that was so, so rude. It was so fucked up. I didn't expect her to say this. I mean, if you're coming to say something, you all should be respectful, respect each other, respect the reciprocal. And I still respect Candice and Charlie for the way they responded, like the way they replied her, you know, not being insultive and all. I mean, like, I, I really, I was pissed for them. Like, I was really pissed for Charlie. She shouldn't have said that, honestly. She shouldn't have. There's a way you present your case without being insulting. She was totally disrespectful. And that is one thing that I, I don't really like, you know, disrespect. But I still might think about this if you have a better way to answer her question. Or if you think you're siding with her, then please let me know in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys.